I wrote a piece last year about living in a world where I feel underrepresented in advertising and the media. We're nearing the end of 2019 and Renault have just launched an internet shredding advert which features a female same-sex relationship. Two eight-year-old pen pals maintain a friendship that becomes more in their teens. There are ups and downs and broken hearts at wedding scenes. But the final frame sees them pulling up in their Renault and unloading <laughs> a toddler in tiny wellies for a family Sunday with the Rellies. After my 12th viewing of it, I started to wonder whether this campaign will tear asunder all the heteronormative Renault drivers' brand loyalty. <laughs> Might it be received by some of them, we'll call him Jim and we'll call her Jem, with the following kind of sentiments. That's getting ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Can't even sell a car anymore about the advert having to fit some gay or trans person. I mean, I've got nothing against them. Getting yeah, a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Is that the sound of fear? Of homophobia? Feeling like you might be sidelined if you only make room for somebody else's lifestyle to just be acknowledged. Jim? Jim? <laughs> it's all right if we observe that there are other ways people do things. Don't let it devalue the way you do things. I've spent my life living by that lesson. I've never had the luxury of being offended in that way. And I've managed. It hasn't got anything to do with you. It's all right. You can drop that ball. <laughs> I've never taken it personally. The airline, the supermarket, they rarely show me that people like me use them, but I just assume that I am allowed to go <laughs> on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> received with rapture. Now oh, that's nice. I thought that it's managed to capture the nation in that way. Renault advert featuring lesbian love story should win an Oscar! <coughs> All right. <laughs> and then I thought, fetishized? And then I thought again, and I thought, come on, we can't have it both ways. Most of us are working towards a world with a shared intention where this is just an advert. It doesn't warrant attention. But the path of that place for all marginalised sections of society since the dawn of prejudice, since the first utterances of us and them, is always paved, I suppose, with just a little bit of novelty. Thank you. <laughs>